Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Dim My Hair. Long time, no get ready with me. I just decided that I was gonna do one today, guys. I have an event in about like two hours. My friends, Jola and FK, they are hosting a mini event and I wanted to just go but then just show you guys my makeup before i go okay i just haven't played with makeup in a while to be honest and this was a perfect excuse a perfect reason i'm going to use this is edge control guys and i'm going to use this both on my edges and my brows this one is the smith hair care one i have tried different types of brow gel in this my life okay brow waxes brow gels all of that <laughs> this is the one that i feel like just does what i needed to do First, I'm going to apply just very little. What's this on my hair? Oh. Oh, what's that? It's gone. Guys, I'm sorry about that. I don't I don't know what that was. But okay, so all over. Oh yeah, I just realized what it was. I applied a um, moisturizer and that one not too long ago, Sha. Just a leave-in conditioner and it didn't like dissolve really well into my skin before i moved on to other things so i'm going to be wearing a wig so i am not being like super duper precise with this i'm not trying to leave my edges out they will be covered at the end of the day but i just want like everything like smooth so that it doesn't snag on my wig cap or on the lace so this side here i like to just do a little swoop okay i'm hoping that you guys can hear me this microphone better be working so the same thing for this area here a nice swoop. okay just like that and then with a spoolie this is the abh one i'm going to take the same gel and just comb it through my brows this is one of the best edge controls that I have ever used. And I slept on it for so long because I had had it for so long and I slept on it for so long and then came back to it, right? It just gets the job done. Okay. Use this flat end. This particular spoolie is actually for the ABH brow wax, but... It just works for any type of wax, I would say. Just press it into the skin. Okay, so I'm just going to let this sit for a little bit, okay? So I'm going to fill my brows in. I'm going to have all the products that I'm going to be using in this video linked in the description box, okay? So just short hair-like strokes. I think they look good now okay going to use some brow powder just to fill in the sparse areas this is the mera cosmetics angle definer brush this brush is very very like flat and perfect for not just this type of thing but also for like drawing like a line if you like to use gel line and stuff like that and also for smudging out lines so i'm not doing too much at this point i'm just using it to create small hair like strokes still this brush works great for powdered and cream products okay with a cream concealer i'm going to sculpt my brows Okay, so eyeshadow primer, I'm going to apply this just kind of slightly underneath that concealer that I just blended out. This is going to prevent creasing for all the colors that I'm going to apply to apply going forward, yeah? Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my Merak Cosmetics Powder in, hold on, you can see the packaging is so cute. It's like this rose gold like cover. I don't know if it's reflecting rose gold, right? But I'm going to take a little bit of this powder and I'm going to use it to set the concealer that I have in this area, right? Just very little. Mm. Oh, I need that. Don't worry, guys. And possibly also just drag that this um, eyeshadow primer that I used you don't need to set it but let's say that you don't have an eyeshadow primer guys and you prefer to use concealer as a primer before going in with eyeshadow then at that point I would actually recommend that you do a little bit of setting okay so just getting that off so for this look, I'm going to use this eyeshadow palette. It's neutral, has some like rose gold bronze. I am not doing a complicated eye look. I've also now turned down the ISO of my camera because I'm about to use bright colors and I really want you guys to see how vibrant they are. So the first color that I'll take from this palette is this one. It's a very neutral shade and it is going to serve as my transition color. So I'm going in with this brown and I'm just like applying this on my outer corner okay focusing on this area and then taking it inward and up a little bit okay so next I'm going to apply a base for my eyeshadow to sit on i did a makeup tutorial i think two weeks ago where i shared this hack on how to make your eyeshadow appear more vibrant so basically this hack involves mixing whatever color you intend to apply on your lid with a little bit of concealer if you really want to watch that video to understand the hack i'll have it linked in the description box but this is the color that i intend to use on my eyelid this copper color here so i'm going to just creep a little bit out right and mix it with the concealer that I've just applied on the back of my hand. You don't need a lot of eyeshadow to do this. I'm gonna apply this. Just gonna pat, blending it out. It does not have to be very, very perfect, but just something for the eyeshadow to sit on, okay? From that same palette, I'm taking this darkest color here. We're almost done with this look, okay? If you have almond shaped eyes like me, this technique really looks great on our eye shape, so... So going back in with that transition shape that I had used earlier, I'm just going to blend out so that this area is very seamless, okay? This shade here Okay, so this eyeshadow look is giving as far as I am concerned, okay? I wanted you guys to really see how these colors were popping, so I'm going to increase my exposure just to make things bright again. Looking good, looking good, coming together nicely. Next thing that I'm going to do now is to line my eyes. I have some pencil liners here from Mera Cosmetics that I want to show you guys. Guys, I've used some of these pencils and when I tell you that something is pigmented, they are so creamy and you think oh because they're so creamy they will smudge and all of that they are so creamy and they set so well like when they set if you do like this they don't let me just swatch them okay so they come in five colors okay i'm going to swat, swatch them one after the other there's a pink don't worry i think i'll hold everything up but this is the pink 
okay and i am a dark skinned person most times pink eyeliners they look almost chalky on me that's not what you get with this the pink one is called raspberry so there's a nude one here called vanilla and i like this because it's not white okay it's just a very nice nude color that would work for people my skin tone and darker for when you want to make your eyes look bigger so that's what the vanilla looks like so the next one here is blueberry and it's a very nice blue oh my gosh i think i'm definitely using this blueberry because yeah it's gorgeous okay so pigmented guys so so pigmented and so vibrant that's what this blue is the next one is the black and this black is called charcoal this is one of the creamiest black eyeliners i have ever used in my life I've just swatched it a little bit. Can you guys see just how dark it is? Gorgeous! And finally, the green, and this green is called Ogo. <laughs> Ogo is the name of a popular green vegetable, and I love the fact that they named this that. Okay, so these are all the liners swatched. So it's been a few minutes now, and let me show you guys what I'm seeing. Are you guys seeing? These are set. They're not smudging. The black moved a little bit, but let me tell you guys, this is not your common eyeliner, right? Even this is the, the finger that I am using. Nothing. There's nothing on it, okay? Just for context, this is regular baby wipes, okay? Regular baby wipes, and I still... The colors... <laughs> the colors are not budging. I have my MAC cleanse off oil here so i'm just going to squeeze a little bit onto my hand this is very very good for breaking makeup down okay so i'm trying to explain to you guys that the only thing that will work with this is if you have an oil-based cleanser a cleansing balm anything that is just water based or just water yeah baby girls and boys it's not going to get this liner off that says something okay i'm going to line my upper lash line with the merak pencil in charcoal okay i'm not doing a complicated winged line i'm just lining very close to my waterline i'm um, not sorry not waterline to my lashes okay with their flat definer brush. So this is the Merak flat definer brush. I'm going to smudge that out just a little bit. I'm not going for a very clean, like sharp line. Okay, I think that this is fine. I'm going to do that on the other eye. like this with the flat definer I'm going to do the same thing so very quickly I'm going to apply some mascara falsies okay that's all everybody has was working for them me i have was working for me nobody should disturb my life because people are mad my lashes are on so i want to use blueberry the blue eyeliner on my waterline okay so effortless and so sweet <laughs> okay so i'm going to okay okay i've moved back a little bit i'm also going to take that blue down like to my bottom lash line not just the water line okay i'm going to blend it out really quickly but it's just not going to be on my waterline i've brought it down you guys can see that it kind of looks way way better on the edge of it i am going to take this brown 
okay the same one that i used on my outer corner i'm just like underneath that blue i'm smudging that okay see how that looks i'm going to do the same thing on the other eye foundation primer foundation concealer I'm going to be using my Mera Cosmetics Blending Sponge. This is so bouncy. I also love the packaging that it comes in, okay? It looks like this. I'm just using one of the black ones, but it's so soft. It's not one of those like blending sponges that are hard, that push product around. They're very, very soft and just bouncy. So I'm just going to start blending. So foundation stick for contour. Another concealer, just a little bit. So this is the Mera Cosmetic Setting Powder in Ginger. Guys, I don't even know at what point my camera stopped recording. Really sorry about that. But basically, I went in with the Mera Cosmetics Powder in Ginger. And I'm using this to just set my immediate under eye area. Or I've used this to set my immediate under eye area, okay? I'm also going to use it to set down the bridge of my nose. Contour powder. I've moved back a bit and this look is giving. So I know that you guys can see some demarcation in this area and the reason is because I know that I'm going to be covering it with blush. So here goes. Nothing. Oscar. 
Okay, this look is done. I am going to wear my wig. <laughs> Okay, so this is the finished look. I've put my wig on. I love, love, love the pop of color that I have in my waterline with this blue eyeliner. These eyeliners are so good. I'm going to have a list of all the products that I have used in the description box. Everything that you guys are interested in, but I really like how this turned out and I'm going to go change now to head out. But give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to me if you are not yet subscribed. I love you guys and I will see you in my next one. Mwah.